Hello Doric TV viewers, uh, I am Jeannie Price. I am delighted to have been inveigled, I think is the word, by Jill um, out here in the glorious absolutely beautiful village of Udney Green which you can see uh, around me on this absolutely perfect autumn day. So I just want to really take you on a wee bit of a, a tour of my village. Um, this is Udney Green, beautiful historic quaint uh, village. Um, I think originally the lands around were granted by Robert the Bruce, he did a lot of that. Um, we've got a castle, we've got this is Udney Castle, still habited to this day. Village Green, we've got uh, wonderful historic monuments and stuff on our on our doorstep. We just didn't came, we're born, basically. Wouldn't it be Udney Green without referencing the green, this wonderful open space right in the centre of the village, and of course the gorgeous church overlooking it. So we've moved away from the village green and I'm standing in front of Udney Green's Mort House. A uh, Mort House built with a turntable inside it for storing dead bodies on until they get fushti. Uh, and they weren't of any value to body snatchers. So I'm told, thankfully, that doesn't go on anymore. Hope there's nobody in. So the Mort House was built uh, with a turntable inside so that bodies could be stored and um, until basically they decayed beyond the point of being valuable to grave robbers. Uh, I'm told that this one was never actually used, thank goodness. There's a sense of timelessness, I think, to Udney Green, which is one of the reasons I love uh, living here. And uh, I've completely forgotten what it was I was going to say after that. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> I can completely quit with that. It's, a, it's called a senior moment. I keep doing it all the time, forgetting what I was going to say. <laughs> She's brilliant, by the way. The colours of autumn. So during lockdown, I used my time to pull together some of my comic verse and I've published my first wee book of um, poetry. Uh, it's written in Doric rhythm, some... Uh, Doric words as well, but I wouldn't have been able to do it without the help of my good chum Karen of Bramble Graphics. Go past. Uh, Karen's written a Doric dictionary that's been very successful and she's also translated all of the coronavirus signage and instructions into Doric as well. So that's well worth looking out for. So Karen's done the illustrations. Um, they're very quirky and original and uh, I think really go with the tone really of, uh, of the poems that are on everything from Brussels sprouts to watching my son play rugby to, uh, to lockdown. And uh, if you can't find something to smile about in the midst of what we're going through at the moment, then I think you'd, yeah, you need to laugh or you'd greet. So back in the summer, there was a right stooshy from some wheel kent prominent chill was feeling a bit wabbit and rather than biding at him he decided to take a 250 mile hurley to check if he was alright to drive. So this is my response to that, an ode in response to Mr Cummings. Week nine or ten, there is some doubt, but will Nicola soon let us out? To venture further without hassle, perhaps a run to Barnard Castle. But as we've scarcely left the green, we need a drive to test a rain. Now, if we should be feeling roch, we'd best nae venture to the broch. So maybe just a trip to Slane's to check for only aches and pains. We might just mark it to denoter to watch for coughs and extra snotter. If we're fevered we a runny nose, we could struggle on doon to Montrose. Though if with symptoms of the virus, do we set our sat-nav for St Cyrus? If we're displaying signs of scurvy, we'd best mark tracks for Inverbervy. We couldn't go as far as Stirling, far Ken's foot bits may end up dirling. And Edinburgh is surely near that wise to test out blurry, fuzzy eyes. I wouldn't want to be a feel and act like that peer whale Kent Cheel. Nah, if my eyesight's on the blink, I'd book an eye test first, I think. The rules I wouldn't have bend or flex. I'd bide at him and wear my specs. Rancini, I was just going to say, you should be on TV. Well, you can fit, folks. She is. She is on TV. She's on Doric TV. Keep tuned in. 
So my wee lockdown project, the one thing that uh, gave me something to focus on and concentrate my time and energy was getting together a wee book of my comic verse which is now available for the princely sum of six pounds and uh, you can get a copy by messaging me um through doric tv or look for me on facebook uh, i'm also doing a wee pop-up shop in the village coming up for christmas and they'll be available there because they make an excellent christmas stocking filler and I'd like to um, read one more poem. Um, I'm a mum. I've been through the, the rigmarole of trying to teach or help kids with their homework and learning poetry at school, which is a sehr feicht. And this is called Hard Lines. Learning lines is always hard, especially those penned by the bard. Lice and mice and ghosts and such an old Scots seems like double Dutch. This week's homework hurt my brain as the wee lad struggles to retain words that have lost much in translation and seem the strangest incantation. Bring back the puddock, penned in Doric. At this we would be quite euphoric. But no, we'll learn this stuff by rote and hope to master it and quote. Though both of us will end up crabby, despairing of your meaning, Rabby. Eh me, is it really just only winner? Learning poems is just sick of scunner. This is literally a short snip from my book. Fringe benefits. Six weeks into lockdown and the situation's grim. I really miss my hairdresser and sorely need a trim. They're saying we should sport a mask when out buying things we need. Forget a mask, I'm tempted to stick a bucket on my head. <laughs> I've had a fantastic time, a rare time I would say, um, with Doric TV this morning and uh, if I could bottle the enthusiasm that Jill has for all things Doric uh, then yeah that would be tremendous. Uh, Doric TV are on the lookout for other enthusiastic uh, Doric speakers or writers uh, so if you want to get in touch uh, Jill would love to meet you and, uh, and do even more to promote Doric language and culture. Well, we've truly found a star in our midst here, Doric TV. She's done it again. <laughs> Jeannie, the bard of Undy Green. Tis the season to be jolly. Tra -la 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 -la. This and welcome to the uh, festive pop-up shop that's happening in Ubney Green Sunday the 29th of November from 12 to 4 and then every weekend until December the 20th. We've all had to change our shopping habits this year. I'm really hoping that people will still um, think about shopping local, buying Christmas gifts for their special people. Um, loads of fantastic Christmas gifts and stocking fillers at very affordable prices and there is an amazing selection. It's an, an entire Aladdin's cave of creativity. So get over to Abney Green and come and check us out. Tis the season to be jolly. Tra la 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 la. Beautiful. So everybody shop local, shop safe and have a fabulous Christmas when it comes. I'm just going to put on my festive mask. <laughs> Jeannie! The bird of Udney Green, <laughs> she's done it again. <laughs>